What is up guys, my name is Toby and welcome to my channel. Today's video is kind of a tribute video for Goga who recently left G2, which was announced on November 22nd. I hope you guys enjoy the video and best of luck to Goga on finding a new team. Peace out. just what is offered, but it is still strange to see Kanto on an offer that's not Ash. Oh, a beautiful shot from Goga. Hetty plays right into the hands of the Thermite. And Goga's in. He's in bathroom. He's going to see Nova. Totally reasonable strategy, but it's going to be Goga to get the shot on the Sweet Black. He also Thermite's Church Wall. This is an old strategy. The shotgun doesn't work out for Hetty. Goga with the double. Alibi easy frag for Cantor Keddy and the what? diffuser is being Excuse planted me. in default spot right now the diffuser going down Cantor Keddy acting as a decoy and the diffuser is on the floor ticking away Nelio will get the first kill for his team but Goga takes out Nelio at the sunrise bar and also at the sunrise bar is Jonas who has full control of this site in the post plant gas canister is going to force him to rotate but it's probably going to force him to rotate but it's probably not going to matter Nova gets Jonas Another for Nova, that's two for him. Goga gets two for himself, though, and it's a back and bar. Hetty should be able to win this fight, but no! Goga, what a beautiful shot! All the way from two separate rooms. And it looks like it's every single member of G2 has fallen off. All you need to do is just simply bleed out the clock, the double bars, and Goga will pick up yet another kill. Trader back in the security room. Corey is on his own. Goga will find one kill. He rushes in for the second and is still alive. The smoke is not able to kill him. And Fabian will find another taking down Rips. Vale and Cryon, the only two alive. And guess what? You have the advantage. The wall is soft, but the diffuser is on the floor. They're still alive somehow in the back. Yuna's taken out. Goga is low on HP. And Fabian is down on the floor. I'll find... Actually, no. Still alive. So how much HP does he even have? Oh, my... He's got to have one. He's how have is one. he... What? He's one. Has to be. Oh, my... Goga's not doing much better at two or three. So literally a one shot away for most of these players. The phone call is out. Goga, Vale doesn't even have time to stop it. Goga with one HP will pick up the last kill as well. Get one on units. It's time for EG to come in. C4 being played. They can't get the kill though. BC will get shot down. The user has been dropped as EG will attempt the plant, but Goga comes in. He finds the back. He takes him down. Fabian with one and Goga with the double. What? The ITA plays perfectly. The shield is on the floor. This Canadian takes him out. EG keeping the advantage for themselves as Yoga comes in with a bearing nine. 2v2, the Echo having taking damage. Still Pengu not peeking the angle against Necrox. Goga holding the backside. NVK going in for the finisher, but Pengu peeks in for NVK. Last in is Necrox. Have to deal with the last two. Little time left though here for EG as Pengu holds the angle, goes in for the pre fire, but Necrox wins it out. Goga playing over time, he runs all the way back of the round! This is the player in the back of the bearing, nine spray, Goga! Will take down Canadian. Now 4v4, Pengu being lost, no smoke in. 4g2, Goga peeking for the second, can he find him? Yes he can, but NVK in the meantime! The refrag, Necrox with one more. The information relayed onto the Zofia going, Goga coming in for the kill on BC! 2-2, two two, Necrox and Canadian alive with 25 seconds. Not for long, though. Goga with a headshot on Necrox. In from above, Pengu again. Down, gas canister chucked in as Goga peeks in. He finds the head of BC, removers himself by the lockers. And Necrox comes in, gets one. Goga trying to go for the down on the second. Pengu takes him out. And Kanto Raketi, the headshot of the SMG-12. 4v2 advantage for G2. This Canadian... Still alive, but NVK going down. Goga realizing when he can peek, and Jonas with the last one. Shutting the IGL for G2 down. Goga with the refrag on NVK as he puts himself back in, in the, the damage. damage. He'll peek in and try to crouch against Goga, but he gets the kill. Just scanning around, realizing there's actually nobody coming in from that position. The castle in the meantime is giving info. Goga will get two, a double spray under Sir Boss and Ravon. Enemy to try and squirm into the hatch. Gets him from behind. Go, go, goes for the rush. Behind B bomb site. He's just given his position away, but the plant's going down and no one's watching. Oh no! Terrible timing from Goga. He was left uncovered, but he's gonna win it anyway. The plant 
just wasn't committed to. What just happened? There, this is a great lockout from G2, and it means that it's bad shape for Moringa. But Astro sees one from above. Pengu not paying any attention. Runs right into Goga, though, and now Moringa will have to be the clutch master himself. Shut down swiftly by Goga, the Spaniard, with the final kill. Or any of those bulletproof cameras that can't really spot through the smoke. Ooh, Goga, though, will find it. Lusty goes into trading now. Goga has done so much damage. This very same position in the past. He'll find one more. Jonas from behind with one as well, and Aces and dies. You will also take down Fabian. Goga finally shuts down Cyber, but he's all alone. Killing potential, a lot more prowess on attack. Sets up a exothermic charge, and well, he can't hit Navis. Is bobbing and weaving around those porcelain railings, the marble railings, and oh, that old Goga's now put three together. Not blind at all, just sprays in and is just twisting in the wind. One will drop to the hatch, and it's Goga. We'll take down one, and there he goes. He fells. A C4 from Jonas, as Immortals will have to fight on the oh. break, but PX is down, and Goga gets one. Round to actually attack the site, which is perfectly played, but Pengu also perfectly countering it. Good teamwork from the Jaeger, who might have gotten a little peek out there from the uh, Sunrise window, it looked like, and Goga with a quick flick around, saving his own skin. He is a little bit low on health, but now it's back to 3-3. Three, going in. you see Fabian semi-blind, but he's got Goga to support him. Goga also gets a team kill onto Pengu, but Fabian's pre-fire will be enough to get the final kill. He's already done his job just slowing things down for the defense. Jonas with the team kill, but doesn't matter. Goga with the refrag of Baka Bryan. 3v1 as Rips is on his own and low on health. He'll try to survive, but not for long. Goga! As he watches in the hallway, goes for the reload. Crying Rips to try and retake, but Crying is already down and out. Rips will find one. The Vector doing his job, though. Saw the spot there on the thermite. Rips will try to go for the fight. He hit fires, but no, not enough. Goga will drop to the floor and find the kill. And actually enter the site in the kitchen at least. He'll pre fire into the dock, but Goga's ready. Pengu will go down as Goga will heal himself back up, but he is the last man alive. And the dock, pretty good operator to have in this situation. 12 seconds left on the clock as Mocket will have to go and plant ASAP, but. There you go, finally Bulletproof Camera is going to get taken out. No information to get relayed. In for Goga as he finds kill number one. Sprays right next to the Capitao, who Rips is still somehow alive in the fight. And somehow again, he's down on the floor. Does he know it though? There you go, that's the finisher. Goga clutches it on the dock, and that's all she wrote. His Candela, he's going to sprint right in, but no, Goga is there watching from the bathroom. Takes him out two for Goga. The man is just insane. Esports. There will be a little bit of that done. And Goga just wide peaks Foxy. <laughs> Pengu falls to Laxing on Repel. So Reciprocity just trying to hold everybody down. What a shot from Goga! My, my. All the way in towards A. And prone on the floor is Goga. will find another. Looking for a fourth. Goga, my, my. Fully extended. Yeah, you could detect that Montaigne from a mile away, but equally he can make his mile cover so quickly, and he's done that. Goga gets a double kill on the Lackey and Steezy, just covering the rotation from the B-bomb site. It's part of the site. There are still plenty of defenders, though, to meet him, and Gogo will get his teammate Lems, who's trying to back him up. Kanto also from above gets Lackey. Kanto playing a great position upstairs, leaving Steezy in the one versus four. He's going to hear the phone call from his opponent in the stairs just to his left, but he does not account for the angle. It won't matter. Their way into the site. There are no anchors right now. Goga's actually going to make it back to site in the nick of time and get a double kill. A triple kill, in fact, as he gets Bibu vaulting through the window into Teller's. Spark takes out Fabian, putting more pressure on the Ella. Pengu, though, able to support him and takes down Spark, leaving just Brid in a one versus two. It was all vitality, and now we've seen a complete shift. Brid is in a good position, and he knows he's isolated Goga in the corner, but as he drops, He's given away, and <laughs> Goga the 4K. Renshiro from the hallway gets Fabian, and it's looking good for Millennium as they continue this attack, but Goga's refragging. Yeah, Goga gets another one. How does he do that against the Blackbeard with the shield? On the site. So, Pengu refrags onto Rise. Goga onto the window on Yogurt. A second for Goga, leaving just Hicks for Millennium, and he's pushing in through the bathroom. No time and no position to get those kills. At least some wall open before he dies, but Goga denying Millennium. We talk about this so much. The refrag, though, from Kantarakedi for a 3v3, now a 3v2 as Goga peeks in. Fabian with one more will require. Smokes to his advantage. Goga will get one. There's a second one down on the floor. Right behind is gets the information to the bar. It's down the wall. It's already opened by Goga. So this sight line is 
definitely the advantage of G2. Very effectively. Goga gonna get another kill onto NVK, so Penta holding on firm a second for Goga as he pushes up to Capitan. Or Smoke Grenade is gonna get lobbed in by Leon Giz, but the gas canisters get thrown in by Goga. IDK coming into church, but Goga will get one and two. BP on to Jonas. Hoggerts will get Shate on the entry, but they've lost one in response. Now three, in fact, four as Goga gets a 3k. Pengu will finish things off on the rise, and that's Penta able to get finally a kill here. Goga will be the one to land on Slash, but now Fabian gets the second. That's now 2v2. Similar to what we had in the previous round, that they'll get the spot here. Goga and Fabian will both try to peek against the smoke. He's playing behind. Goga will land the kill. 2v1 now. Here's will get thrown right into the wall. Here's Goga pushes up. Unexpected. Uvitaldi. Goga with two. Can't find the third, unfortunately. He'll go down to Pingu. Refrax instantly onto Bunde. Let's go out. C4 from Goga goes nowhere. He'll push up aggressively. Takes out BC. Sees two more. Goga takes out Envolchetti. Down the stairs. Goga with another kill against Panari. Hatshot being taken by Panari. Right in the hat, of course. Otherwise, it would be a hatshot. I went there while I had to finish the sentence, you know. <laughs> Thank you, <Rick. laughs> Done busted. There you go. Shate moving in uh, through the front office here. Pengu oh. drops in and gets the frag. Uses the smoke for his advantage for that, and Goga runs in with that MPX. Gets one, throws the C4. Boonsi comes in. Boonsi eats it right to the face from Goga. But Wilkie will take down Pengu. Leaves it to a 1v1. So in a C4. All up to the Spanish here. Maybe Goga can pour over the spray, and here we go. Goga finally back. For Cap can being gone is definitely not a good place to be. Flashbang. Flash will get thrown in as more utility in for Supremacy. Goga will turn around as the plant will get set here by a lot. They walk right in, and there you go. Goga will get one. He'll get two. Goga with the clutch again at a 5 0 as he 360s around. CCC, I plant. CCC, I clutch. CCC, I defuse. And there you go.